Hey everybody, welcome to visionrecordingstudios.com on our YouTube channel here and today's video is going to be part two of a little short little video series on how to prepare a PreSonus Studio One recording session, session files, to prepare them to send them to Dropbox to share them with other musicians, share them with your recording studios. Um, this was inspired by I get lots of questions from my clients that want to send me their Studio One session so I can mix and master their work. And a lot of people are unclear on how to prepare the session, how to send it off. Some have never used Dropbox before. So I just want to make a quick little video here so I can refer people to this and hopefully it'll help all of you out there. So let's open up our Studio One session. And your Studio One session probably looks very similar to this. It's got lots of tracks here. So the very first thing I wanted, I tell clients to do, um, and I would tell um, you to consider this as well. If you're sending this to me, um, I want all the plugins taken off. I want all the faders at zero dB um, because I want the tracks as raw, dry, and everything flat, all the panning in the center. Um, so you can do that by just uh, scrolling down here along your mixer, holding the um, command key and clicking on each one of these faders. And as you can see, they're moving everything to zero dB. Um, so I'd like everyone to do that. This way, I get a session that's completely at unity. Everything's flat and ready to go. So you get the point. I'm not going to go through every single track. Once you do that, I want to do the same thing with the panning. I want to make sure everything is in the middle here. So if you just hold down your Apple key, uh, and you're, if you're using a Mac or your, I believe it's your Windows key on a Windows uh, machine, um, you just click the panning in the center. That will pan, that'll send everything to the center. And then if you open up your mixer view, I want to take all the plugins off. So for example, if you have a bunch of plugins like I do here on this particular track, you could just click this little drop down arrow and hit remove all and that'll take all the plugins off. This is just an example, so I'm not going to do that on this video. So you want all the faders at zero dB, all the panning in the center, and take all the effects off unless we have spoken um, prior and we decided we were going to keep certain things in play. But that's typically how I like to have a session. Completely dry, completely at unity, ready to go. From that point, I want you to open up the browse browser here on the bottom right hand corner of the screen, and you're going to go to the pool tab, okay? And these are all the audio files that were in your recording session, ones that you're using currently that you see on the screen here, and ones that you may have deleted that are no longer being used, but are still part of the session. We want to tidy that up. So we want to come up to the song menu and click on remove unused files. And you'll see a long list here if you've never done this before. These are all the files that are still part of the session in the media folder, but are not being currently used. They could have been alternate takes. They could be things that you've, you've imported but then deleted, things you don't need. So we want to get rid of all these. And what I typically do is I permanently delete the files by clicking this box, and then I click Yes. And it's going to ask me, do you want to remove all these unused files? Yes, I do. And when we hit Yes, you're going to see this list get much smaller. And see how the list got much smaller? So all the unused files are gone away. It's a good way to tidy things up. It'll just keep the, the overall file sizes for your song down when you're trying to upload them to Dropbox. You want to clean those up. You don't want to send somebody a bunch of files that are not being used. So then you can close that. So from here now, we're going to save this. So we're going to come up to File, and we are going to say Save to New Folder. Okay. It's going to ask you, where do you want to save it? I tell everybody, save it on your desktop. Okay, we're going to call this... Um, Studio One Test Session. Okay, and then we're going to hit Save. And what this is going to do, it's going to make an exact copy of all the currently used audio files along with the song files in the media folder. And it's going to make a copy out on the desktop so it doesn't disturb your original copy here on your computer. And you can see it writing all the files. So once that's done, you can save your session and you can close Studio One. Close Studio One. There we go. Quit Studio One altogether. Oops, let me just show you my desktop. Okay, so now on our desktop, you'll see a folder called Studio One Test Session. If you open that, it has our Studio One song file. It has our media folder, which has all the currently used audio files. Now, if we didn't go through that process by cleaning up all the unused files in the pool, there'd be a lot more audio wave files here and again, which will make the file size much larger, and we don't need to do that. And it also has our images folder, which has all of the uh, waveforms that you saw in the session. So we want to send the entire packet via Dropbox. 
So now what we're going to do is we're going to right click on this folder and if you're using a Mac we're going to compress it. Okay. If you're using a PC it's called zip. We're going to want to zip this up because the zip file is what we're going to send via Dropbox. So we hit compress it'll take a few minutes here you can see that it's working it's going to compress 602 megabytes okay it'll take a few seconds here and then what we're going to do is we're going to go out to the Dropbox website and we're going to send this and we'll just do a little test where we'll send it to myself so you can see how this is done okay now that this is done you can see the zip folder so the zip file is what we're going to send we're not going to send this this directory we're going to send the zip folder so now we're going to go out to dropbox.com, okay, which is uh, dropbox.com, and I'm going to log out here so you can see what the screen will look like. So here will be your the home screen for Dropbox. Now, if you have an account, it's real simple. You sign in. If you don't have an account, you never used Dropbox before. What Dropbox is, it's a, it's a file sharing website where it allows you to share large files. Um, Studio One recording session files, Pro Tools, any of these DAW recording session files are way too large to send them via email. So you have to use a, pro, a, a site like Dropbox or Gobbler. Dropbox is probably the more popular one. Google Drive is another one. They do all the same thing. Okay, so in Dropbox, you're going to either create an account here if you don't have an account, and they have a paid account subscription or a free one. You're a client of mine, you just need to use the free one. You don't need to pay for extra space unless you're going to do lots of file sharing. This is great too for video people who share videos back and forth. Videos are huge file sizes. So anyway, create an account. Once you create an account, you're going to log in. And you're going to come to this screen here. Now, on you, you can just disregard all these folders here because this is all stuff I've been sharing back and forth with clients. Your screen won't look like this the first time. The only folder you'll probably have is a public folder. And inside that public folder, there may be, uh, I believe, you'll be here, yeah, there'll be some uh, how to use the public folder and some user manuals for Dropbox. Okay, so now the very first thing we're going to do is we're going to create a new folder so you can put the zip file that we created into that folder. So if you come up to the top here, See this icon, new folder? Click on that, and we're going to name it. We're going to name this uh, Studio One Test Session. Okay, hit enter, and it's going to put it in alphabetical order, so it came down here. Okay, you're going to click on this and open it, and obviously it's empty. We have to put the zip file in it. So we're going to go up to this icon here. We're going to click Upload. We're going to choose Files. And we're going to go to our desktop and we're going to find that zip file and here it is right here. We're going to choose it and it's going to take a few minutes and depending on the size of the session, depending on your computer speed and your internet connection speed will depend on how long this is going to take. This is going to upload 238 megabytes. It says it's going to be about two minutes. It'll take anywhere between two and four and five minutes. Um, once that's done, I'll come back and I'll show you how to email it so you can share, the, you can share this file with somebody. <clears throat> okay, we're back. So you can see that this thing has now been finished uploaded. And again, this can take a while depending on your computer and uh, your internet connection. So just click done. So now what we're going to do is we're going to share this. So we're going to click on this link here, this little uh, tab here, share link. And now it's going to ask you, who do you want to share it with? And this you can either import email addresses from your from your contact book. You, you can put the email that you want the person you want to send it to with a little message. So let's do if you're if you're a client of mine, you're gonna share it with me. And then you can put a message, you know. Here you go. David. Okay, and now you're gonna hit send. And you'll see up here sent to Vision Recording Studios, and up here it'll tell you that you shared, a little message will tell you that you shared. Uh, the file with somebody. So that is how you share a PreSonus Studio One recording session file with um, sending it to Dropbox and sending it off to someone. And if you're a client of mine, you'll be able to look at this video and then hope it'll, hopefully it'll help you get through it. So uh, until next time, thanks for joining me. Please uh, like, subscribe, share, and we will talk to you soon. Take care.